Hello, hello. Welcome back to another little chat with me. Um, today I wanted to chat a little bit about pronouns because I know that it's quite a touchy topic for a lot of people. Um, many people don't understand the issue of why pronouns are important to some people. Some people even seem to think that they don't need to use pronouns unless they are LGBT. I mean, I've, I've heard people say, you know, um, I don't have pronouns, I'm normal. And unfortunately, unless you actively decide not to use pronouns and to, for example, only use your name, um, you will have pronouns unless, you know, unless you make that decision. So most cis people have pronouns that match what they were assigned at birth. Um, and your pronouns are, they're just a part of your identity. They're, they're, it's not a bad word. It's not saying what are your pronouns is not, is not something offensive. Um, and I think that's very important to realize because I think a lot of people don't seem to understand that, unfortunately. Um, personally, I use they, them pronouns in English. That's what matches my identity the best in French, due to a lack of commonly used neutral pronouns, I tend to go for male pronouns. And in Dutch, I also tend to use male pronouns. Um, if someone in English calls me he, I'm perfectly okay with that. If someone in English calls me she, that does not feel very comfortable for me. So, well, in any language, I don't like to be referred to as female. Uh, it doesn't, it's not who I am. So when people misgender me as female, they tend to get a bit of a strange look from me and then I'll, you know, I'll gently correct them. Um, because it's, it's not who I am. I know that there's a whole discussion around they, them pronouns and people saying that these are not proper pronouns because they are plural. They're not supposed to be used as singular, but I'm here to tell you that that's a load of crap. Um, they can definitely be used as singular. It goes way back to Old English that they were used as singular. It is not a new thing. It is not a fad. It's not something that LGBT plus people have come up with um, just to annoy cishet people. It's just a way of referring to ourselves, which is totally valid and is shouldn't be a problem. Um, Personally, I don't really see the issue with respecting people's pronouns, no matter what the pronouns are, even if you think that they shouldn't use those pronouns. If you think someone is male presenting, they use she, her pronouns, and you think it doesn't work like that, that is your problem, and they are allowed to choose their pronouns, because um, pronouns are something personal. They're not something that I can apply to anybody else. They're not something that anybody else can apply to me. It is up to the individual to choose what suits them best. So the, the only thing you can do really, or the best thing you can do is to just respect people's pronouns. Just ask them when you meet them. Um, you know, just ask what pronouns do you use? How do you want me to refer to you? It really doesn't cost any effort to ask. And once you know, you can just do your best. And if you accidentally misgender the person, you can just be like, okay, shit, I need to, I need to do better. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you because you haven't grasped how to use the pronouns that the person prefers. It just means you need to work a little bit on being more consistent with using the pronouns that people do prefer, which probably means you need to decouple the pronouns to the visual image a little bit. Um, a lot of people subconsciously default to using certain pronouns based on certain physical characteristics, which is, uh, it's just how society has kind of trained us to be, but it is something you can consciously work on decoupling. You can start by reminding yourself that just because you see facial hair, it doesn't mean that the person is necessarily a he, or just because you see breasts, doesn't mean that the person is necessarily a she. Um, and that there are pronouns outside of the he, she binary that are more and more commonly used because people are accepting themselves and being accepted by others. 
And um, the best thing you can do is ask and then try your best. And if sometimes you fail, that's okay. Because as long as you're trying, that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, that's really, that's just my two cents on pronouns and what I think about that. So remember, you, just by trying, are already being an ally, right? If you get it wrong a few times, shit happens. I don't get mad when people get it wrong for me. I gently correct them, and I hope that, um, I, I hope that they won't misgender me too much in the future because of me reminding them. But if people consistently misgender me i might have a conversation with them about it i might be like look what's going on is it really hard for you is there anything i can do to make it easier for you um but eventually if you just keep trying you will manage to use the correct pronouns for a person even if at first it feels a little bit alien or you're not quite sure how to do it um yeah that's my two cents on pronouns and uh have a good one